Hey guys, we're gonna be dipping into some trouble on my channel today. What we are doing today, you will probably think is really crazy. I've been seeing these videos around YouTube lately and they look really fun. I got this idea from Chloe Rose Art. She mixed all her acrylic paints together, so I'm going to mix all my Copic markers together and see what crazy stuff happens on this piece of paper. Obviously, I predict that it's going to be this mucky brownish blackish blob of ink. <laughs> so let's get started. I am starting with my lightest colors. And then we'll go from there. I don't know why this isn't focusing very well, but I hope it does for this video. I'm also going to do kind of like a sunshiny thing where I go around this circle and everything will be mixed from the middle. But I want to try to make it so that you can see as many colors as possible fanning out so you know what I used. And I thought it would be really cool looking. I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out. There's no really order to this other than I'm starting with my lightest colors and going to dark. By the way, I'm omitting my gray colors because I didn't really think that they would be necessary for this. So far it looks really pretty. It's kind of like a, a pastel-y purple. This gives a really cool representation of what colors I have. <laughs> I feel like I have a lot of pastels now that I'm looking at this. Also, sorry that you are probably hearing a lot of marker lids snapping. I'm probably not gonna edit that out of this video because that would be the most tedious thing. <laughs> I have a feeling that I should have made this circle a little bit bigger because some of these colors might overlap on the outside, like out here. Ooh, getting into some bright colors now. Look at this. I'm kind of shocked that the middle isn't as dark as I thought it would be. So far anyway. It's gonna get really dark here soon though cause I'm trying to, ooh, that was not meant to be in here yet. That was a lot darker than I thought. Okay, well back to the lighter colors. I'm, as I was saying before, I just messed this up with the blue one. I'm trying to go from lightest to darkest, but I'm not actually even doing that because you can kind of tell it just kind of alternates. <laughs> I thought about going by color family, which would be neat, but that's okay. This is more fun. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm not doing a huge circle also because I don't want to waste ink and yeah. I mean this is kind of already a waste of ink but it's a fun experiment so I hope you enjoy it. It's getting darker. This is a really neat way to study color theory. I know I'll probably get a lot of people in the comments saying what did you expect? Don't you know color theory? You should know that this will turn out like a brownish black color and yeah, of course I know that. But I think it's really fun and fascinating watching it happen and I hope that you enjoy watching it happen. Ooh, this is one of my newer Copics. I really love this color. Almost completely around the circle. I'm gonna start 
Just going over the other colors, we're gonna have a huge rainbow looking circle. This thing looks so cool. <laughs> I especially like that I'm not actually choosing an order now because it just seems, whoa, that's so bright. Really fun. Going around the second time. I'll try to draw my lines in the white spaces so all the color can show through. Wow, this is so cool, guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm leaping into a vortex or something. A Copic marker vortex. Kinda crazy. I feel like <laughs> I'm falling in. I'm literally falling in this hole. Either that or I'm looking at a really weird looking pom-pom. What do you think, guys? What does this remind you of other than a waste of ink? <laughs> Woo! What part of this circle is your favorite? You know, there's that one section that all the yellows are in, really, and I love that part. <laughs> Why are all the purples all of a sudden right here? Crazy stuff, man. This is a lot prettier than I expected. I kind of expected it to be really ugly. <laughs> wow, <laughs> so bright. I'm gonna add some tension here and give all these colors that don't belong next to each other their own little spotlight. Yeah. getting really dark now. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Yay! That's it! And this quadrant here is a lot lighter than all the others because I didn't have enough dark colors to create balance, but I still feel like I'm falling down a hole. It just gets darker and darker in the middle. Super cool. This was really fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and if there's any other fun things you want me to try like this, let me know. I would love to do it. Somewhere on the screen I will write how many Copics I actually used to do this circly thing. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're new to the art family, feel free to subscribe and we'd love to have you here. Join our family. Have a good day. Bye.